This is an unboxing. This is uh, a gift a viewer sent, and I really appreciate it. I know the sender would like to see it fixed, so let's get it open and even see what it is. I believe it's a transistor radio. All right, isn't that cool? I love that font. That's awesome. Hand done. I actually like stuff like this. This is this is cool. Ah. Thought you might like to repair this old radio. Check out my YouTube channel at Tate Thomas. Thank you, Tate Thomas. I hope I didn't violate your privacy there. Well, this is very cool. I can't see I say, uh, try that again. I can't say I've ever seen one of these. Of course, with the Panasonic brand on it. AM, FM. It's like the dial cord is broken. The antenna is broken off. That's no problem. We got those. It is a model T30. So get your eBay searches rolling. I almost can't believe this wouldn't just work. That was that was good, wasn't it? It looks like he cleaned that up pretty good looks like he cleaned that up someone probably left the batteries in it we have an amplifier section here and then we have our IF and this looks like our FM front end And it uses these early big package Japanese germanium transistors. And it also uses these plastic case electrolytics that always seem to be open. These gray plastic case electrolytics. Can we get a... It's an interesting IF configuration. Look at how many IF transformers it has. Also, this is a bit of a trip. I'm trying to figure this out. So why, even with the dial string broken, why wouldn't that turn the tuning capacitor here? This is, these are just two gears that should be mated together. And this gear is like split. So what controls the backlash between these two gears? How do you adjust that? Huh. What I think we had going on here was there was a spring between these two points. There's a spring right here. And that spring would basically control the backlash on between this big gear and the small gear by keeping pressure on the teeth. But the distance, the gap distance, or the gears just worn out. I'm going to apply power to this and I'm using lithium iron phosphate batteries which are about 3.2. 3 volts per cell. I'm using two of them and I'm clipping on to the solder point. I'm not connecting to this corroded. So let's apply power. Um,
Well, let's flip the AM FM switch here. Let me get some control cleaner and spray it in that switch. Many, many times I have seen where cleaning this band switch makes a big deal. I don't think it's going to in this case though. It looks like our audio comes maybe through this capacitor into a preamp and then the volume control is between the preamp and the driver. I don't know because when I touch this I'm not getting anything. When I touch this I'm not getting anything. But when I move the volume control I'm put get the signal tracer on this. This is a very useful tool for AM, FM, small radios, all radios. So let's see what we can do here. Basically, this diode here is our AM detector. These two diodes here are our FM ratio detector, or FM detector, the single diode's the AM detector. So no matter what, Flip the band switch. Still got noise there. There we go. This is a sloppy video. Yeah, that sounds too fat to be AM. Okay, that. Okay, that's on one side of the capacitor. I just had to tune it over here. I bumped the capacitor. That's the other side of the capacitor. That capacitor is wide open. Okay, I put a clip lead between there and the probe. This might have a bad RF amp too, because when I connect an antenna to it, it makes no difference. That's almost like a bad RF amp. When you connect a... Uh, this would be the RF amp right here. When you connect a uh, antenna to it and it makes no difference, that's... It'd be nice to see AM work. AM is 
is. Oh, wait. Yes, too, this was an emotional event. We went on a lot of field vacations, and we see what it does to them. But it's a family member, and it... Memory, brain aging, infant development, cell to cell... Would you rather 37 hit when you're 65, or would you rather take it when you're 75? Where that stuff happens, Jamal Adams... Negotiations, Dalvin Cook... If you remember, and and, and if oh, he was clearly nervous. Okay, it's. To traffic with Manny Pacheco coming up in four minutes. The University of Laverne ranked as one of America's best colleges for adult learners. Ooh, banana slicer. Seems like it's off a little bit. It seems like K and X should be about right there, and it's. Almost with the banana slicer all the way open. Interesting. So, I have a feeling, and it's hard to tell, but it, it seems like we got bad capacitors for sure. Open capacitors, absolutely for sure. And we have um, possibly a bad transistor in the FM front end. 54112, I should have that. Kind of just going through probing these capacitors. I'm going to assume this is a third IF, second IF, first IF. And the volume is just so weak over here. It's louder there. Holy crap. Okay, so we've got a problem in this stage, I think. So yeah, we have a problem in this area right here. Continuing on with our Matsushita AM FM portable radio. I pulled the SAMs on this and this is like a 1960-1961 model. I pulled the third IF transistor out. It's a 2SA70 and it, it is definitely bad. Uh, sometimes we check it and it checks as nothing and other times we check it and it checks as a PNP germanium transistor with way too much gain. Uh, it's very flaky. I did pick up all the electrolytics for this set but as I've said before usually bad electrolytics will not cause it to be 100 percent quiet. So let's change this transistor I guess maybe when it's cold, it tests good. This is a Russian GT313. This is more than ample, perfect transistor for this. Pop this in there. We've got power applied, six, six volts, 6.4 volts. Here. And yes, now with our GT313 in there, even though we have all these bad capacitors, we have sound getting through. The AM. The 197. There you go. The LAPD has reported its first curve. Dr. Erica McAdoo died Friday night. No immediate word on her age. The 
department says 287 employees are currently at home after testing positive for the virus or being exposed to it. Ken Jeffries, KABC News. Former TV executive Edwin T. Reed is dead at the age of 93. The Hollywood Reporter says his family made the announcement today saying he died on June. Dialogue continues here now, where L.A. comes to talk. 790 KABC. KABC has dependable traffic right now. In downtown Los Angeles on the 110, northbound at 8th Street, crash has the two right lanes. Sun's killing this damn thing. Boulevard. On the Santa Monica Freeway, westbound at Crenshaw. There's a wreck in the two left lanes. You'll stop from Arlington Avenue and an Echo Park on the 101. Southbound at Glendale Boulevard. That crash blocks the two right lanes. Traffic got to stop from Silver Lake Boulevard. That's dependable traffic. I'm Randy Fuller, AM 790, KABC. Picture this. A shortage of fuel has closed your electric utility or any other possible disaster devastated your town you're out of power no time lights. to commit suicide there you go a new capacitor a day makes the airplane go away crap this is a non-polarized I didn't get any non-polarized. I didn't even think about it. I guess I should have looked closer. Crap. Well, let's see if there's any voltage across it. Okay, so we've got 400 millivolts measuring across the capacitor. And you can always use this, well, you can generally use this method to make sure you got the capacitors in right. So the positive is, is on the circuit board or the right side so for now just for diagnostic purposes I'm gonna tack the capacitor in there with the positive to the amp board a quick correction with this being non-polarized this needs to be non-polarized because when you tune across the FM band it swings both positive and negative uh, as you as you go from side to side on the detector so I need to get a non-polarized cap in here for this to be right Actually, not bad. Considering I bet all these capacitors are dried out. See if it'll get channel six. VIP Librería Santa María del Monte presenta las mejores ofertas y promociones solo para suscriptores. Se parte de nuestro suscriptor. Yeah, there's channel six, analog television channel six. Al número ocho treinta y tres cinco sesenta y ocho. Okay, there's uh, K Jazz. You're trying to strip away in order to be. Or someone else, they're just 
frustrated because they really care about the game. It could. Come on, don't don't start slipping on me now. FX on Hulu is now streaming. I want to see if it'll get LA oldies. What is the squealing noise? Is that this? Oh yeah. Let's get that out of there, man. Where'd we go? I have the antenna polarized wrong for LA oldies. I need to turn it. There we go. Come on. Yes. Isn't this fun watching this? Couldn't you just watch this all day long? One detail. There we go. Okay, come on, come on. So, main problem was this transistor, the third IF. We found that with the signal tracer. Uh, and that capacitor, which is the capacitor that couples the tuner section to the amp. But I guarantee every other electrolytic on here is bad even though the radio performs relatively well. But like I said, I've never seen a transistor radio where the electrolytics were the sole cause of it being 100% dead. And by 100% dead, I, I mean you hold it to your ear in a quiet space and you don't hear one station. Because, I mean, electrolytic capacitors can go 99.9% .9 open, but they'll still pass enough AC to where you can still hear a bare something but a dead transistor will shut it down quiet all right I'm taking a look at this mess I got the chassis out of the cabinet trying to figure out what I want to do with this I was able to loosen this up and slide it in it's it's kind of loose but I believe there's supposed to be a spring here to take the lash out of the gear like the gear bites let me go look through my stash and see if I can find a spring that I could put on that found a spring and got it there I'm not quite exactly sure what the point of that is but I'm really not going to worry about the dial cord right now um, I don't need a dial cord to use and enjoy the radio I don't need a dial indicator I know where my stations are one of these days when the weather is perfect and I've had a super long night's sleep and my patience is at its maximum, I might attempt to restring this dial cord. I do have the SAMs for it right here. But for now, it's more than usable.
place right now. So it needs to be aligned. Anytime you change a transistor or a major part like that, the transistor I put in there has different capacitances than the transistor that was originally in there. So it needs to be, the IF needs to be aligned. To get started, visit sellwithrex.com. Never thought about a, a dating uh, website. Problems with that is obviously all the women would want to choose me, and I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't be available on my own site. But you know, you're right about something. You really. Oh yes, Rush. Nothing. Nothing gets a woman going more than uh, lung cancer. Let me compete with the airplane here. Much more than a, uh, just about book. These. No, no pasa con sanadita. Have that open line of communication. And uh, we're headed to the top of the seventh inning. No charge or obligation. Just go to RPO. Awesome. Awesome. That squealing is most likely a, a high ESR AVC filter in the IF section.